Now that we've already discussed quantitative representations of availability, it is about time that we look at one well-known availability representation called the five nines availability. We'll see what is specifically five nines. What is its impact on costs? And we'd look at one example from the internet world. Five nines is actually a very tricky number. As it is said, the devil is in the details. So when we look at five nines, we'll see that this number poses immense requirements on part of the network management and organization. Five nines is actually thus far the best case availability. Some enterprises which need five nines, they do not want to afford more than five minutes per year downtime. Now, there's a million dollar question for the management of the organization which is going to fund such reliability and availability requirements. That is this five nines requirement consistent for the whole organizational lifetime or it is just a year or two a year long requirement because each of these is asking for different resource allocation and budgets. Another question that 5.9 poses is that is the repair time included or not included because 5 minutes actually means that a system fails and the recovery is done at such a super level that it gets back to normalcy. This is only possible if in-service upgrades are carried out such as hot swaps where one router or one switch is working and the other one is put in operational state in parallel and the load is shifted or migrated from the primary router or switch to the secondary one and then repair or maintenance is carried out on the primary one and then the load is shifted back to the primary one from the secondary one. Although it's just a desire to provide finance availability from every organization which wants to maximize its profitability, we also need to look at what is there in the real world. Although certain hardware manufacturers do offer five nines availability, but as sum is not equal to its parts, there are certain intangibles that are beyond the control and are not purely based on the hardware availability. These include the carrier and the power outage, the software failures at the device, switch and router levels, unexpected and certain increase in the bandwidth, which makes the system unavailable in terms of capacity like we already discussed, the famous backhoe problem, because if humans misconfigure a system, although the system is supposed to be available, it would become unavailable. And studies have shown that 90% of the failures owe human error. And lastly, the deliberate security breaches and the inadvertent software glitches also contribute to the system becoming unavailable. So the desire to achieve five nines over a year or many years is a very up and challenging task. Let's look at this table. This table gives us a summary of the impact of increasing the number of nines in availability. Let's look at the extremes. When we have five nines availability, it means that we cannot have more than five minutes downtime in 365 days. But if we just bring the number of nines down to two, we see that the unavailable period, which was only possible up to five minutes in one year, has come down to almost five minutes per day. This is only possible when we have compromised on three nines and are just happy with two nines. As an example of the internet, let's look at triple router configuration, which provides us five nines availability. Here, there's an enterprise which cannot afford downtime at all, maximum up to five minutes. So the organization is going to deploy three routers, each with its own independent ISP, 
if one of the router goes down, the secondary one takes over. So the configuration is going to be such that one router is going to be in active state, the other one in hot standby, and the third one in maintenance. So it means if there is a change in the software, it is done on the maintenance router. And then the maintenance router is swapped with the hot standby router while the active router is working. 